guys, it's Brie. Uh, today I'm going to review A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Izeki. Uh, this is the booktube reading buddies or, no I'm sorry, the writers of Color Book Club pick of the month on Goodreads. I'll link that below so you can look at all the discussions if you want to read it real quick and chime in. It's about a woman, Ruth, who has found this diary that's been like wrapped up in a ton of plastic bags and a Hello Kitty lunchbox and kind of tossed into the sea and it's washed up onto like the shore by her house in on this island in British Columbia. Ruth is this author who's had a lot of success but she's been on this really big dry spell since she moved there and then her mom got Alzheimer's and she was just taking care of her mom and she's really kind of in this writing slump and when she finds this diary she starts to read it and she becomes captivated. The young woman who wrote it now, uh, that's her name, is this young girl who's living in Japan and she's suffering from this terrible bullying. I mean, just cannot even imagine the kind of stuff that was happening to this girl. And her, you know, now his father's thinking about committing suicide and she's just now is in this terrible spot, you know, really depressed, understandably so. And she starts to write this diary and she says she's going to write about her grandmother. And I think the, the story becomes kind of a, a way for both now and for Ruth to come to terms with where they are and to really build a, a stronger relationship with themselves and with the people around them. It's a very interesting read. It's very quick and very detailed, um, which is one of the things that really stood out about it to me. Azeki Azeki utilizes footnotes in a way that's, I think, very well done. A lot of times I find when authors use footnotes in fiction, it becomes a little bit clunky. Um, a lot of things that could have been narration wind up in the footnotes and kind of vice versa. Um, but Azeki really uses them as a way to clarify the story and then also to put her reaction her reactions, uh, Ruth's reactions in, um, without feeling like it's imposing on Now's narrative. It's split between the two women and there's this persistent discussion of depression and what that means and how does a person deal with depression in themselves and with the people around them and especially you know, when you're frustrated as somebody who is around people with depression, how do you place blame and, you know, what kind of anger is justified and what kind of angers appear? Um, and I think it's very sensitively done. It was really interesting to see Azeki have insights into the mind of a child whose parents have depression. Um, that to me was one of the gems of this book is watching Azeki write now, um, right now's perception of her parents and what they're going through and the, the very complex ways that now is looking at her father's depression. Very good. Um, the other thing that really stood out about this book is the way that Azeki tries to, she tries to breach with with the reader about this kind of idea she has about author, reader, and story and the relationship between the two and how does a reader reading a story change both the story and the author. Um, and this becomes much more prevalent later in the book. Um, and I thought that that was a really interesting thing to think about is by, the, by reading, do we fundamentally change a story? I'm inclined to say we do. I mean, Ezek uses a couple of different plot points to illustrate this in a much more metaphorical manner, which I don't know. <laughs> it, the metaphor I, I don't know is direct, but I, I do think that there's a relationship by which reading, you add your interpretations, especially with reading and discussing books. You, you change, in some ways, the stories, and by doing that, you change it for the next reader, and how I think there has to be some kind of effect on the author as well. I thought that was a very interesting discussion. 
as far as characters go, I think they're very, very well done, um, very detailed and fully fleshed. The narrative itself is very interesting, especially, I think, Nao's story, you know, this young girl who's moved from America to Japan and is undergoing horrible bullying and kind of trying to understand her father who has depression and, you know, her grandmother's a, a Buddhist nun. It's all very interesting. Uh, out, overall, I think I gave this a four out of five stars. There were some things I would have liked to see more of. I would have liked to see more of Ruth's past and really delve into who she is. But overall, it was a very, very good book. I, I enjoyed reading it. Anyway, let me know what you thought about this if you've read it. Again, I'll link the, um, the booktube discussion page um, on Goodreads down below so that you can chime in if you've read it. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye!